Hi, my name's Danny Marie, and it's my channel, Marlon May Gaming. <laughs> and I was just going to snow pee. She literally just tore around the corner like a fucking crazy person. But yeah, this is a life update from me. I have missed a few posts, and lately that's been coming becoming more and more often as I get a little bit more and more behind recording earlier and just getting my shit done. But I have, well, I recently got engaged, obviously, <laughs> and I was spending a lot of time with trying to put stuff together for that. We're also moving soon here. We have to buy a house, so that process is already exhausting. And last week I was trying to get Save the Dates out, which includes a lot of writing, a lot of writing and just coming up with addresses that I just don't have. So that's a fun experience, which is fine, it's just a lot of work. So I was working on that all while being really worried about my cat, Baby Boy who was having a hard time breathing last week he started having a hard time breathing through his nose he had a little booger that was constantly on one of his nostrils and it just got so bad he had been dealing with some fluid in his lungs for a while and we understood that he had been on multiple, uh, well, he had gone back to the vet for multiple shots of antibiotics over and over again. And this time it just suddenly got really bad. It was like within two days, he suddenly could hardly breathe and he was breathing through his mouth and he wasn't eating anymore. So we brought him into the vet on like Friday last week and they removed they went in and actually removed a half cup of fluid from in and around his lungs which was a lot and they kept him quite a while after that and we were always surprised we were surprised because they were like oh it'd just be a couple hours but no it was like four or five hours later they still had him and they're like we're waiting for him for his heart and breathing to just like calm down it's like okay and we brought him home and I feel bad because after that, Jonathan and I went and visited my parents. I just let him sit at home because I set him right next to the water so that he could drink and he could hardly get up. So he was like drinking from his cat bed so that he couldn't stand up because he couldn't stand up. And I had his food out right in front of him just like that. And I was like, okay, he's got it. So we went over to my parents to watch a movie and hang out and then we went home and he was still not doing very well. He would like hide under the bed and stuff like that and whenever he'd walk he'd be like swaying really bad and I was like okay he was like put under for surgery or whatever. And I got up the next morning about 4.30 and he was in the kitchen laying on the floor and he was so cold but he was still he was live he was so cold and I felt horrible I picked him up and I moved him to his cat bed and he just like meowed in pain at me like the worst noise ever and it just like fucking broke my heart because I have to go to work and I like laid on top of him and held him because I like wanted him to be warm, you know? And he like laid down and closed his eyes and it was okay. Still wasn't eating. But I went to work. And like a couple hours later I get a call from Jonathan saying I'm sorry, but baby boy passed away this morning. I had had him, he was only like 13, 14 years old, 
But I was there when he was born. I found his mom in my parents' closet when she was giving birth to five other kittens. And he was just so small and he was just like a little ball of white. And I had like held him and he was just brand new. And it just like broke my heart that I couldn't be there, you know, uh, when he passed. Because Jonathan was there and he felt horrible leaving for work himself and he was like waiting to go. And I guess baby boy seized up, like shook a little bit and then just passed away. And it must have been because he hadn't been able to eat. He must have been exhausted. His body went through such a great ordeal. I just wish it could have gave, given us a little bit more time, you know? But he's always been with me. Like, when I first moved out from my parents, he came with me. I remember first night in our, in my new apartment, and he was so scared because he had never left my parents' house before. And I remember crawling into bed with him. And I only had one sheet on the bed at the time because I was, everything was all packed away. And I had pulled him under the sheet with me. Like it was just a single sheet, just the top sheet. And I pulled him really, really close to me. And I hugged him and I curled up around him. And he just started purring. He was my baby, and I think I'll always miss him. And it just breaks my heart, like, I'm still grieving. <laughs> Some people like are just like, oh, it was just a fucking cat, like, but he was mine. Hmm. No. So I'm just trying to take some time and <laughs> take it day by day and put in the work when I can. But I'm just a little heartbroken. I come home and he's not there anymore. But I still have my two other cats. Just that. But I have one other cat named Yuna that was his half-sister and I just... I don't know, it, it doesn't seem right that she's here and he's not. I don't know, but that's what's been going on with me. Still gotta finish setting out my save the dates and everything and wedding stuff and house stuff and we have to paint soon. <laughs> but we'll get it all done, you know. But thank you for listening to me if you're viewing this video and I'm sorry for getting a little too over emotional. I know some people just don't get it. But I fucking loved him. He was just my sweet little man. He was always happy. So. Have a great night. Thank you.